Hey, what is up guys? Thomas Mark coming at you with another video. And today I'm going to be talking about unlimited VPN subscriptions. Now, most VPN providers work with yearly, quarterly, or something like six month subscriptions. So that way you're paying once a year for six months or maybe three times. Um, each one of these subscriptions has like a varying cost. So per year, you're probably going to get the best savings six months pretty good savings and then if you go for a one month subscription you're going to get maybe a little bit less of a deal so let's think about something like private internet access which is actually kind of an interesting case um, for one year you could get their subscription for around 39.95 six months is actually like 35 dollars so most people that get private internet access just get the one year subscription and then their one month subscription is actually around 6.95 so you can see that if you spend 12 months at 695, it's going to be like more like $80, whereas the yearly subscription is a much better deal. So you might take this idea to an extreme. A lot of VPN providers do. Um, so what about this? What about if you get an unlimited VPN subscription? Wouldn't that be the best cost of saving method to save the most money over a large amount of time? And this is what a lot of VPN sub, um, companies do. But you might want to be thinking, why are they doing this? Uh, you know, of course, it's maybe a good deal for you, but why would it be a good deal for them? Well, a lot of times these VPN companies want users to sign up and kind of forget about their service, maybe not use it, but get that lifetime subscription anyway. So they're saving money in terms of bandwidth. But there's also some other things you got to consider. So when you're looking at a VPN subscription that is unlimited or for a lifetime, this means that you pay a one fee and you get access to the VPN forever. Um, this is different than other methods where you get access for one, six months, or maybe a year. Pay once, unlimited forever. So let's examine what that means. Let's say you get a VPN and you're paying $20 for a lifetime subscription. That seems like a really good deal. Um, or maybe you're paying something like $100, which still seems like a good deal if you consider how long you could be using it. But if you think about it this way, how could a VPN service for a lifetime provide good serve for someone for so cheap or even if it's like twenty dollars even if it's like a hundred dollars for unlimited how can that really be successful in terms of a large-scale business model well it can't let's go ahead and take a look at some examples of unlimited vpn providers and what kind of um, vpns they are let's see if there are any uh, in my top rated vpns for example so this is a popular website that you're going to see a lot with unlimited vpn subscriptions it's a website called Stack Social. Now, Stack Social is a website that kind of gives away these kind of unlimited kind of coupons and things like that. Um, now, they have some VPNs on their website. All you have to do is look up lifetime VPN subscription, and this is where you're going to find some of these VPNs. Um, you can see here that we have a Tiger VPN, XVPN, Ivacy VPN, some other is weird VPN, Zoog. Um, so I haven't heard of this one and this one. I haven't heard of Zoog. Um, I haven't really heard of um, a lot of these. Uh, Averia, Phantom. Um, now we do have Winscribe here. Winscribe, VPN Unlimited, and IVC VPN. So IVC VPN, um, not the best VPN I've reviewed on the channel. Not horrible. Um, they might be affiliated with Peer VPN somehow. Uh, might be a reseller. Now VPN Unlimited I've actually reviewed on my website. And it's not a bad VPN, actually. You get some pretty good speeds with it. And Winscribe, it's not the worst VPN either. However, um, Winscribe, they kind of base their model off this free subscription kind of model. And um, I don't know how many people actually go ahead and purchase the premium subscription uh, for Winscribe. So maybe they're hoping here that they're just going to build up a customer base. I don't know how many paying customers they really have. So that's something to consider long term. If you look at some of these other VPNs, though, you'll notice that um, they're very uh, random. Uh, you know, I haven't heard of barely any of these VPNs. None of these VPNs are going to be the most top tier VPNs that you see people using. We do see Hide My Ass here. It's a pretty popular VPN, but again, not the best VPN. Really, only a couple of these VPNs on this list are going to be halfway decent. And again, the idea that they're giving these uh, free unlimited subscriptions away like this is a little bit sketchy. Now, here we have an interesting offer. We have $139 for private internet access for a, let's see here, is this gonna be lifetime? Let's go ahead and check that out. It looks like it's gonna be a five year subscription. So even with something like private internet access, which I consider a top tier uh, VPN 
you're not going to see like that unlimited subscription model. So if going forward, if you see something that's offering a limited subscription model, I would definitely cautious you to be careful because it's not very sustainable for a VPN long term. And there might be something going on behind the scenes. Um, if you really do want a, a, a lifetime VPN, I would recommend going with something like um, VPN Unlimited or Winscribe VPN. But again, it does seem too good to be true. $40 for a lifetime. Um, you're going to be missing out some features and some services there. It's just too good of a deal. So um, keep that in mind. We also do see something here like called Kiesel, a lifetime VPN service. So you're going to get that mini router. But I'm on my little website, kind of checked out mini routers and found they're kind of, I don't know, not the best thing to use. So there you go, guys. So in summation of this video, what are some of my points that I really wanted to nail across? I just want to sum it up for you guys. So VPN subscriptions that are limited are definitely sketchy. It's not a sustainable long-term business model, and the VPN that's offering it definitely kind of wants you to stop using it somewhere along the line, or they're gonna have slower speeds or stuff like that to make them profitable. Now, the best VPNs out there are not gonna offer these unlimited subscription models. That's the bottom line. You're not gonna see any of my top tier VPNs with the best speeds, the best customer service, the best apps. They're not gonna offer these unlimited subscription models. So if you want the best VPN experience, you're probably not gonna to wanna to go with a lifetime subscription. Additionally, websites like Stack Social can be uh, proved difficult to work with um, because you're buying a VPN through them. You kind of have to rely, um, you can't really rely on their customer support to help you out. And the VPN is going to say you bought it from Stack Social, not them directly. So that's something else to kind of keep in mind. Um, additionally, if you buy a lifetime VPN subscription, I would be very, su very surprised to see your subscription even working 10 years on down the line. The reason being is that lifetime subscriptions are just. Um, too good to be true. Who's to say how long it's really going to be working? Maybe one, two, three years. Um, but then even then, you might not see it continue on for a lifetime. So you're buying kind of a product that can't really live up to the, the name of what you're buying. You're not going to buy a lifetime VPN subscription because who knows how long it's going to be around. However, if you're really set on buying a lifetime VPN subscription, I would stick with something like Winscribe, maybe IVC VPN and VPN Unlimited. These VPNs are pretty good, but not top tier in my rankings. Thanks for watching this video game. Thanks for watching this video, guys. My name is Tom Spark, and I'll see you on the next one.